pals, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto Shippuden. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to follow me on this crazy Shinobi journey. <sighs> I would also like to give a very special thank you to my patrons. Now, previously on Naruto, there was a lot that happened. We, mostly for the Akatsuki stuff, but like in the beginning-ish, we focused on Naruto and the Toad Sage dude, little grandpa dude, and he was telling Naruto about the drawbacks, the risks, if you will, of going into sage mode and that basically, you know, you can't be still to take in nature and fight for a very long period of time. You can only do it for about five minutes. So if you have the aid of the toads sitting on your shoulder, for instance, like Jiraiya, where they, or what he said was like splitting the work, which I think is a great way to describe it, where one is focusing on staying still and the other is focusing on using that energy to battle he will be able to do more. So I think that's really cool. I'm really excited to see where that goes. Very exciting. The other part of the episode was the pains. It sounds like a band. <laughs> it's like um, the paper girl and the pains. Uh, I wish I remembered her name, but that would be a really interesting band name, whatever her name is in the pains. Anyway, not related or <laughs> pertinent information at all but they have started attacking the village in search of Naruto because now it is time. They also may or may not know that they don't actually have the eight tails, which is also a thing happening somewhere in the background. And who knows where that dude is? Sasuke may have him, they may, may have just been a deception or they may not have him, who knows? Any hoots, we are focusing on the leaf being attacked and the end of the episode ended with Tsunade saying to sound the alarms, which I feel like at this point, the whole village knows they're under attack. They can see the smoke and buildings like crashing and giant centipedes. And she has ordered to recall Naruto to the village. So we're gonna see where that goes. It's getting interesting. Um, I might have to grab something um, to brace myself and to clutch while I freak out both outwardly and inward. Lee. Yeah, English. Oh, right. Totally forgot about the autopsy moment. And I feel like these are kind of like puppets because they're receivers. I think that's what she said. And they're receiving chakra signals or whatever. To do such a thing. Why, it would be exactly like pouring oil onto a fire. I, I roll with my I whole head. Listening to the fifth Hokage. The hidden leaf will be destroyed. This guy. This guy. Ugh. Your attention should be on saving the village. Not that that's ever been their priority. Oh, no. Not Stop. good and I. Get back inside. Shikamaru, what's going on? It's the Akatsuki. They're here. Sensei, do me a favor and step back, please. Is this the same jutsu that he used uh, when he was battling the other guys? I forget their names now. Kakazu and Hidan. I'll take you part of the way. No arguments. If I feel like it's gonna pop child, up behind them. I would never be able to face Asuma. Sikamaro. <laughs> this hurts my soul. I hate when people are hurting because I want to help. <laughs> but obviously I can't jump into the screen and help. Fukasaku. Jiraiya boy's eyes saw the truth. He will become even stronger than Jiraiya boy. Going though. Hey, get off of me already. You're heavy, you know. Damn you, Naruto! 
time. <laughs> oh, at least there's a little bit of lightheartedness in all of this pain and suffering. I'm afraid she's not here. Oh, I was right. All right. Autopsy. There are right, so right. many wounded. The medical ninja are simply overwhelmed. We really need someone to take charge and give orders. What? Me? But why her? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Sakura and I'm glad for her. But like, aren't there other medical ninja that have been doing this longer that are maybe older? Yes, ma'am. Wow, you're amazing, Sakura. I'm going to head back. You've clearly got this. <laughs> right. Clearly. Uh, I love it. Are you all right? Can you breathe okay? <sighs> oh, that's the end. <laughs> that felt so short. <laughs> Oh, it's not the end. LOL. Because <laughs> it was short because that's the opening. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. They are. And what of it? Last time we gave you wide reign, but now conditions are different. Naruto is still a child. And the assailant we're talking about is the one who brought Jiraiya down. Mm hmm. So now you guys are concerned about their his well-being or whatever? I will avenge Pervy Sage. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. We'll just have to keep our emotions in check. Uh. The job that we must give to ourselves now is to set examples and aid the next generation, Tsunade. And Tsunade is doing what she thinks is best. Though I, I will say I understand where the elders and stuff are coming from because, you know, why would you bring the thing that they are looking for to the village? But, like, it's Naruto. I can't. I do get it. I understand their side, but like, it also feels like Naruto needs to be here because if he's not here, how much he would be upset by what he finds when he comes back would be, to me, worse. He's a true shinobi and defender of the leaf. He's Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> you tell him, Tsunade. Lady Chiu of the Sand and Sarutobi Sensei. All had what you two clearly lack. Heart, a conscience. <laughs> Good morals. <laughs> has been wrong. But at least here in my final hour, I can finally do something right for a change. <sighs> Her death heavy really hard too. <laughs> and the leaf. Question. Are we going to get our sand friends back in the story because of this? Maybe they're going to come help? Because that would be great to see how they're doing and what they're up to. Especially, like, gotta, you know. Jiraiya, Lady Chio, and Saru Tobi Sensei. They have what you lack. And that's... The will of fire? The power to believe! Even better. Believe it! Oh, what a throwback. I thought that was going to be the end. I was ready. <laughs> it is time for you to believe in and entrust the leaf to the next generation. <sighs> Powerful words that they may or may not take because they are like on the same level of Donzo or whatever but have these stuck in them studded all over their bodies and faces does that mean the six pains receive some kind of chakra signal across their whole bodies is that how they synchronize their actions that part mm, that's not something I would have considered yes ma'am meanwhile I'll await reports on the route and I'll start healing all of the injured through Katsuyu I will protect the village let's yeah. go and Donzo thinks she can't do it. I don't know why, but I got a really bad feeling right now. <gasps> oh, you. You. <gasps> I hate that he said I have a really bad feeling about this, and then that happened. Ugh. Amazing. He absorbed all the jutsu. And then we'll just have to attack him directly. My feet suddenly got really cold. <laughs> uh, are they going to be 
left with like no ninja after this. This is like ah! Katsuyu, go attend to all of the hidden leaf residents, both shinobi and civilian. Take my chakra and use it to treat anyone who was injured in the attack. The village is in serious danger. Never mind, just go. I understand. She gonna burst into a bunch of baby slugs. <laughs> I love and hate it at the same time. <laughs> I will protect this village with all of my power. I wonder when they're gonna find out that Donzo killed that poor messenger frog. He didn't do anything to deserve that either. Ugh. Uh, Iruka. Oh God. Now I think about it. If something happens to Iruka too, I am going to absolutely lose it. Begins, or else I will kill you. That insignia. I see. So he's a Katsuki. Now, tell me. No. No, this is not okay. Should I telling you anything? I see them. I have no use for you. Oh, Kukashi? Uh, I was gonna say, I cannot handle... Naruto can't lose both his dads within, like, a month of each other. That's just not okay. Leave this to me. Ugh. Roger. Right away. Good luck, Kakashi. I don't want anything to happen to Kakashi either. Neither, you know what? Neither option is great. Neither option is great. <sighs> There's not a single one of us who'd ever sell out a comrade. That's gonna be the end. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so much is happening that I am just not okay with. Well, okay, first of all, we got like a little bit, like a little snippet of Naruto, but like I appreciated that Tsunade finally turned, tur told those two elders off because I mean, as we know as the audience now, they have made a lot of decisions in the name of like, you know, weaponry and war and whatever. I mean, they're part of the reason that the entire Uchiha clan was murdered and that, you know, Itachi felt suffering and that Madara Uchiha was like betrayed and cast out. Like they are responsible for so many things. That's just like the Uchiha thing. That's probably not even including any of the other tens of thousand things they've probably done in all their time as like council members. I can't even imagine the other stuff that they have done. Especially that Donzo dude. I mean, I do recall now, like, I mean, I kind of knew that he was, like, not with us, but he is definitely trying to take down the leaves so that he can take over. And, like, that's just not gonna happen. And the fact that he killed that poor, innocent frog that did absolutely nothing to him. <laughs> oh, never say that. He's like, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, somebody should have stayed with him. Though they wouldn't have expected somebody to come into the office and, like, kill him, but still. Still, it's so upsetting. It is so upsetting. Oh, uh, I just, oh, poor froggies. It's just not fair. It's not right. It's just not right. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Try to breathe, Cassie. The other problem that we're having here is that now there's nobody to go tell Naruto that all this stuff is happening. So he's either going to like sense it or he's going to come back after some point and discover that all this happened and he's going to feel really guilty. There's just a lot. There's just so much. Uh, but on to the end of this episode, can I just say... Not that I wouldn't love to see more of Iruka-sensei, but he, 
And you know, Kakashi has been a mentor to Naruto too, but not as much. I feel like he, like, yes, he was Naruto's like teacher as far as the team goes. But like, again, Iruka in my heart is like special for Naruto because he was like the first one to believe in him, especially after he'd been shunned by basically the entire village. And then you have Jiraiya who actually took him under his wing and taught him how to be like a better ninja and whatever. And so like, if he lost his other dad after he just lost with a, one of his first dad, his or his second dad, if he lost his other dad, I would be upset. I can't rule it out because there's still like over 250, 300 episodes. We're, we're on 158. So yeah, we're almost to 200-ish. Yeah, that's like 300 some odd episodes that we still have to go where that could occur. And I will be very, very upset if that happened. But like also nothing could happen to Kakashi because that would also be equally sad. But like, it's also sad that all these people like, uh, it's so hard for me to even think about it. I said it before, but like hearing people like cry out in anguish and like, in suffering really just hurts my soul because I want to help and I, I don't want people to suffer. I don't want people to be in pain and I can't do anything because this is not real, first of all. And second of all, I can't just jump through the screen and jump in there and help. I don't have superpowers or any, even if I was, I would never be a good ninja. <laughs> I cry way too easily, but I just, it hurts me. And it's like to see like even that moment when Sakura like all the building like toppled on top of all those people and like there's just nothing you can do and it's just so sad. <sighs> this whole arc was gonna be full of suffering and I'm not okay with it but we're gonna try we're gonna try to do our best and we're gonna believe that because there is Boruto, the leaf is gonna be okay. They will rebuild no matter how much they get destroyed. And that the whole leaf is like a family, even though they all ignored Naruto for the longest time. But now that he's older, and maybe matured a little bit more and maybe can overlook whatever kind of rumors they heard about him, even though I guess some of them don't know the truth according to the comment section, like everyone's on the side of Naruto and they won't sell him out. So you know, it's fine. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and continuing to follow me on this wild shinobi journey. And until next time, bye.